Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, everyone. And it is I, your cliff climbing, the peak patronizing, your hot cocoa having, but mostly humble streamer, Waximilian, bringing you the peak of gaming with the finale of Jacent. 
Yes, we are going to be finishing that wonderful little arcade platformer game. Or arcade. Platforming puzzle game. Uh, yeah, just an amazing little indie game that has a great physics system, a great climbing system. Like, actually, like, I mean, not only is it great in terms of uh, making a base wall climbing sort of game, uh, maybe not so much a free climbing sort of situation, like, I should say, the points of grabbing are pretty finite and not too intricately physics dense as, say, like, uh... I think there's like, like mount your friends and uh like like other games like I'm trying to think of like there's another indie game I saw that had wall climbing that was a lot more like I guess like pretty much having characters that are just um going uh god I'm, I'm fucking I'm blowing it oh I'm falling apart they go ragdoll characters that go ragdoll and then you can basically care like move them around like co-op style like those sort of physics games it's not that dense it's a bit more narrative focused and plot dense and a bit more puzzly and not just puzzly over like the fact that you're trying to wall climb and not fall to your fucking death so it's a puzzle of finding out where to put your like foot or your hand in so you don't slip and die yeah i mean one can consider that a puzzle in a sense but um yeah it's very good melding of like uh narrative focus like adventure games with a puzzle platformer which is not something you like hear or see every day puzzle platformer hmm? i think action platformer maybe or maybe just collect-a-thon uh platformer but you never really think puzzle platformer and it does that really well with its added mechanics of like um using the echo effect to interact with like a uh, local fauna and flora and whatnot to help like make new paths well not new paths yeah well yeah new paths for um doing the climb and as far as i can tell i think there is just a tiny bit of like variations to what you can do to like s like solve the climb but pretty much it's a one set path and you're good so it's very much just like a good way of making climbing into a puzzle game as i've said enough already but yeah check it out yourself i just put up there in the game or in the chat room the game command current game being played is just sont from developer don't nod enjoy meditative vibes and just sont an action puzzle pl climbing game scale an immeasurably tall tower and ascend to new heights alongside your watery companion <laughs> it's, it's a very after way of putting it master your climbing tools find your way up through diverse biomes and piece together the tower's past you find it on steam epic game store and uh the xbox marketplace and on game pass of course which is how i'm doing it uh but you can find it at storefronts for 24.99 usd game pass free but yeah i've had a wonderful week coming up to the to the beginning of this stream here and honestly <clears throat> before i get into this stream i don't think i'm gonna really save it for the end of the stream might as well just get it out of the way um i might just take this week off because i might have company coming over wednesday but possibly thursday and i would just leave out one stream well i, I could still stream with them here it's not like it's not too obtrusive and it's not exactly my guest Per se, but I do have guests coming over. Let's let me just put it that way. So, not gonna be an attentive host or anything. Anyways, that being said, I was thinking about just um pausing the stream while they're here in general, and just of course for the Christmas week, especially because I have like a whole line of actual parties and like I guess get-togethers to go to. So yeah, I have a social life. Whee! Anyways, uh, that being said, I will definitely be pausing the stream for the Christmas week. And for this week, I was heavily, I was heavily contemplating even just not streaming tonight and just cutting it off in general. Uh, not even streaming today or tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. 
because I was originally planning on doing a comfy week of full, just like returns to a um, roguelike set I played throughout this year, you know, Risk of Rain Returns, uh, Hellboy, Mortal Sin, and um, I was thinking of just doing that, maybe even like a Ancient Dungeon, if I was going to do like a different roguelike every day, I would definitely do like Ancient Dungeon for my fourth pick, but um, anyways, I was thinking of doing that, but you know, Jasant wasn't completed, it was about like two chapters left, and I really just got my itch scratched by this game. It just hit like a niche spot that I don't like often go to, and it just like really tickled my brain, and I just love everything about it. I do love me a good adventure game and a good atmospheric story focused game. I don't mind pla uh, puzzles, or puzzlers, or platformers. And now I, I definitely don't mind them combined. It's like two genres that I don't necessarily uh, go out of my way to play, but find my way to and end up usually loving the picks that I end up like uh, choosing. Like uh, the Banjo Kazooie, like Legend of Zelda, like ROM hack. I love that shit. Ugh. Mm, Donkey Kong 64, great uh, platformer. I've loved a good uh, indie puzzle gamey. So, you know, a good melding of both worlds. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna get any gaming news or anything, so... <laughs> Again, I don't know why I ever mention it in the first place if I haven't even gotten into any gaming news in any way. Like, not even, like, skimming headlines or anything. Or reading tweets. In, I don't know, what has it been, like, three months now? And counting? Maybe for, um... Starting next year, I'll find a way to, like, more concretely, like, put together, I don't know, like, a PowerPoint. A minor presentation, a whiteboard thing, anything that could resemble a concrete list of talking points and memo points. You know, like, just talk about gaming news and whatnot. You know, I might I might do that, but, you know, I'm just now finally getting to being able to, like, concretely make stream highlight videos and whatnot, so I gotta remember not to put too much on my plate. So I should probably not even worry about gaming news unless something is brought up to me. And then if that happens, I might not even know what they're talking about. And I don't want to definitely drop anything to, like, learn about a topic. So. Who knows? Who knows what I'll do? Maybe I'll just end up burning myself out next year with the whole fucking poo-poo platter of things to do and learn and hobbies and whatnot. But hey, that's for future me to worry about. And you know what? Present me and present chat. We got something better to do than worry about the future. Especially because it's rounding up the end of the year. Next time y'all see me, if I take the rest of the week off, and of course Christmas week, will be... Doop, 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 doop. Freaking New Year's Day. So you won't see me till next year. If I take the next two weeks off. Eesh, sorry about that. But damn. So, the next two weeks, I will definitely be working on making an, a bank of, like, stream highlight videos. Maybe I, I say a bank, but I don't know, with my work ethics, it would probably be, like, two to three, maybe. I'm going to be rounding up my um, 100th album review coming Thursday. I just released my 99th album review on my Rate Your Music audio diary, which was... um. I'm sorry if I mispronounced, Kasim Mo Moss's Workshop 32, a nice minimal techno album. I'm not too much of a techno guy, I gravitate towards the house genre. Techno is a little bit more, I don't know how to say it. Um, I definitely can't say less, uh, something just like superfluous, like, you know, it sounds less human. Psst. There's not as much soul in his house. Because that sounds obnoxious. But really, I mean, I 
and I'm making like album reviews. You think I could like on the spot just be like, oh, this is the difference between techno and house music in a concise manner and in a forward driven way. So even if you really aren't familiar with either genres, you'll know what I'm talking about. But techno. Hmm. Just a lot more, I guess. On the rails. It's a lot more on the rails than house and a lot more like concise, succinct, a lot more robotic. And uh, just, I guess, plain and like club focused. I don't know. It's diminishing the art of techno. But that's how I feel compared to house. I just, there's a lot more to like the diversification of house and like the usage of like other genres especially like jazz and disco and whatnot with house that just makes me love house so that all being said i'll be releasing my hundredth album review i'm thinking of finally finishing and uh, i don't know why i've been like gestating this album review in particular for so long but billy cobham's uh I know it's not called Quadrant. Good. Computer, please. Spectrum. I'll be finishing the review for Billy Cobham's Spectrum and releasing that as my final 100th album for the year. I could release a couple more, but I feel that it's pretty ceremonial and, uh, a nice way to round out the year with just a hundredth album review rather than, I don't know, like a hundred and two to three. But that being said, after that's all done, I'll be working on getting together a uh, Topsters like top 100 album chart for my like top 100 to top one albums of 2023 that I've listened to. Of course, that being said, I say 2023 albums. It's not exactly albums released in 2023. It could be any year. A good lot of them are 2023 and just current year. But it's not con like contained to, the, to this year. So yeah. I'll be making a top 100 album chart for to release and probably just like review and do like on stream maybe. I might just go ahead and do it off stream in my two weeks and just knock it out. But that'll be done. I'll be updating my actual top 100 albums of all time with albums I've listened to this year that have definitely like reached into that like chart for sure. And some that may have reached like the top 10, honestly. I know definitely Arthur Verkai's self-titled. He's he's got to be in there. He's got to fucking be in there. Guys, goaded with the sauce. Anyways, enough dilly dallying enough ranting i was already late for stream because of a late dinner i'm pretty tired from a stupid ass sleep patterns and like just sleep schedule and just i guess sleep ethics <laughs> well, that's a weird thing to say but you know it's just like i should just get better sleep that is at the end of my friday for work so i just did a full day of work and also again i just said i ate some wendy's i ate a good bit of wendy's so that shit, that shit hitting me and making me a little bit tired, so. Let's go ahead and finish Jason. While we still got two to, fuck, maybe three hours. I keep wasting time. <laughs> but let's go ahead, y'all, and get into the finale of uh, Jason. Sit back, relax, and get some vibes going with one of the most comfiest puzzle platformer games. With stakes, actually. It still makes you feel a little bit anxious at times. I've never failed and died in this game, but it's pretty hair raising. But one of the most comfiest puzzle platformers you'll ever witness.
calm down, game. You'll be given the spotlight here in a second. Give me a moment. All right, a little quick interjection. I know it's nothing serious, but I'm sorry I never found an appropriate rotating food gift for the season. It's a, it's a really nice archive of rotating food gifts that are free on archive.org, but file names and archival system are not too intuitive. They're not too intuitive at all. There are a scant number of like rotating food gifts that are like named well enough that you can actually like uh know what it is before you even like find the file or like download it but most of the time you're just kind of just shooting it in the dark so really hard to find a specific kind of like themed item let alone a actual specific item i want to find like oh i want to find a cuban sandwich good fucking luck Oh, fuck no, it's doing this, ain't it? Okay, real quick, I gotta go shut down Steam, because for some reason it doubles on the uh, Steam built-in interface for making a controller and, like, keyboard inputs. And also, it, just the inputs for Xbox. Oh, yeah, that's... Fix that shit real quick. Oh, you know what it is? It's not that... Well, my game is probably actually loud. But really, the deal is that apparently, um, like, the last week or couple of weeks, I had my uh, other PC for gaming. Um, I had that, like... I had the, just the, in general, like, volume for that set down to, like, 50 for whatever reason. Not the specific game windows. Not the apps themselves, like Xbox or Steam. But the computer in general was set down to 50. So I set that back up accordingly, and that's probably why it's loud now. Whoopsie! Y'all don't know how much, like, willpower it's taking for me to, like, not just quit stream and, like, play some Luna Acid. It's... It's a lot of willpower, to say the least. Like, the kind of shit where it's just, like, a comic book character has to, like, upgrade their powers by, like, finding some sort of, like, a dominative force. You know what I'm saying? Or sort of, like, Naruto fighting a Kurama to gain control or, like, trust of Kurama. So that way he can become more powerful. Sort of like that. I have to have that much willpower to not just play some Lunacid right now. Another game that it just, like... I could say, very demonstrably, I don't gravitate towards dungeon crawlers. It just, it, it sunk its teeth in me. Yeah, there we go. That might do it! Chat, that might do it. Having the master volume up that much might do it. You know what? I probably should have fucking questioned the f what the hell. Probably should have questioned the fact that it was actually pretty like well mixed in volume whenever I had the master volume up that much last week. I should have probably questioned that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. With one of the most comfiest like main menu startups in any game whatsoever. I can't drive it home how fucking dope it is that you just start inside of the game from the main menu. Like immediately. That's just that oh, oh my god. It might be windy out here, chat! Might be hard to communicate. I'm loving it, though. Actually, since I know this is going to be continuous, go ahead and just... Wait, what would it be? Sound effects? Really can't tell if that turned it down, but, you know, whatever. All right, definitely one of the like best looking. Uh, I almost forgot how to play this game. One of the best looking uh, like walls to climb in this whole entire freaking game. 
Wow, I jumped fucking high. Why did I jump that far? There's not, like, an upgrade system, so my, like, charge rate didn't, like, <laughs> increase. Okay, where are we going for me? Maybe I should also breathe real quick. And... Fucking hell, why did I... That's okay. We can have a goof or two. No, no, right here, actually. This is a better rock to jump off of. There we go. You would think with the game with quite literal silent protagonists, other than going, bam, <laughs> basically. The fuck? Even the game was kind of just like, bro, really? Like the mountain went like, <laughs> you know what? Maybe if I was doing this full time, I would have had the like revelation to do like a falling bit. Where am I? Where am I going to, Chad? Where Where am I going to? I'm not exactly sure where the game is pointing for me to go. Am, am I gonna have to like climb on the like the moss? I don't think about it. There is actually a scrape in the wall. Now that I see it, something is going on. Oh, you know what? Oh! That was not it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have done like an intentional fall. Oh my god, I'm slipping out! Oh, Jesus! Sorry, Chad, I, I ate a Butterfinger earlier. I was eating some KFC too. Just, my hands are a little bit. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, don't look down. Oh, fuck, Chet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, my hands. Oh, shit. Fuck. Whew. That was close. Am I jumping up there, man? That's a no, Ghost Rider. Okay. Oh, no, I see the rocks now. Sheesh. Those are pretty well camouflaged. Okay, I see now. I'm liking this mechanic of using the wind to my advantage. And it should be probably... Here. Good jump. Nice. Uh, musical build-up. Like... What would it be like? Music for cliff sides? <laughs> music for cliff sides, volume four. Brian Sminos. Oh, I was not really like even thinking about which direction the wind was going to be going, so that was pretty lucky that it had to be the way I needed to go out of the two. I guess you can determine like how good of a climber and how intuitive you are to like sub the solve these like puzzles by like how much stamina bar you have left. So it's pretty good that I only had like half left. I think like one fuck up. This actually looks like something I can like climb down onto. Nope. That was stupid. <laughs> Come on, look at that. Look at that. That's like a perfect spot for you to like stand up on. I mean, yeah, it's probably a little bit mossy and shit. Maybe you don't have like the best like foothold. But come on, that's like the kind of cliff that like uh with like the bottle air twins like sat down on and like the uh, the precipice, like the penultimate novel, you know what I'm talking about? If you know, you know. It's kinda like the most reflective, like, pensive time in the whole entire, like, series where, like, the bottle layers are just like, this is fucked, actually. Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> but yeah, that was, like, the perfect little spot to have, like, a brief respite. 
A nice little, like, sig break of sorts. Although I'm sure our, our, our dude would not be smoking. They'd be X, for sure. No illicit substances whatsoever. The hell, where, where am I going here? I see it. There's climbable wood. What the? Okay. Okay. My hands just weren't working there. Ooh, I like this. Cool breath. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Alright, this is pretty cool. I like this. The windmills. It's the windmills are giving people cancer. <laughs> They're scaring the whales and the water creatures. The water hemoglobins. They're scared of the windmills. <laughs> Fucking wind kicked in at the wrong time there. <laughs> Might have overshot it. I forget how to play this game sometimes. With the whole, like, double hand mechanic. As I said, it's not exactly as hardcore as, like, a co-op game. It's sort of just, like, huh, instead of full-on co-op. Oh lord. Okay, I definitely see where we need to go to in like the in this like section. Uh, oh! Why? Dead. That was whew. That's what I'm talking about when I say hair raising. This game can definitely be hair raising and this is like the pin ultimate. Whoa. Hammer fucked up there. This is the penultimate section of the game, so... I feel like it's gonna be just, like, the hardest section, and then the final section is gonna be, like, actually the easiest. It's gonna be more of a ceremonial, like, section, just like a quick rundown of everything we've learned. But in a very short manner. Like, one tiny section for each, like, I don't know, like, different, like, version of an echo, or, like, the windmills here. That's what I think is gonna go down. Okay, it's fine. Oh my god. Fucking hell, shit. I'm gonna have to go back down just because I'm gonna run out of stamina. Ruh row. Oh, please do not be time. It's okay. That? Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't even notice this, so. We're good. Actually, don't even think of that I need this. But. Could not hurt anything to do it anyways. <laughs> I don't want to have to task my uh, character any more than they already have. Not some tough guy like that. And we can just kind of just do like a quick rundown here, I think, at this point, right? Unless, actually, you know what? Maybe this isn't the end of it. I thought it would just be like a straight climb or jump or two here, but I guess not. Oh, uh, that's, I guess that's why the fucking camera is panning over here. What the? Ain't no way. Ain't no way they're about to ask me to, okay, wait, never. I can repel. I guess I gotta repel even more. Oh my lord.
Though it's really just like getting the courage to jump since you can just not have your like neck and hip break from like momentum and shit. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> so as long as you got like the strap connected, you're you're good if you miss the jump. Did I make it? I think I did. You know, it probably would be a good idea to like get attached to that. Kind of feeling a little bit more forward right now in this particular like in. Like I don't think that's really gonna like help me per se to go in and get that. I think it's gonna leave me in a little war or something. I'm liking the rope knots going on here. Pretty cool. Why did I do that? <laughs> Just wasted stamina for no reason. And I was a very, like, generous with my assumption that, like, these buds were not going to be timed. Thank God they weren't. Oh, I just dislocated my shoulder. <laughs> Did anyone see that? Did anyone else see that? That's, like, kind of the, the people you see on TikTok where it's like, I can dislocate my shoulder like, and rotate it five times. Where am I going? Do I have to wait for the wind? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's just the camera angle. Right? Get our bearings. Oh, I gotta brace myself, because this is gonna really, like, drain my... Oh, is this just gonna drain my stamina in general being up here? Or is this wind gonna die down at all? Oh, I like this. I like it and also hate it. Okay, climb! Climb, you fool! Oh! It's getting real windy, chat! Hold on! And we're good. Oh, I see. Surrounded by the holy spaghetti -o ring circle. Yes, we worship Campbell's spaghetti -o soup here. Makes sense. It's that kind of post apocalyptic world. We like find a very mangled up can of spaghetti -o soup. One of our ancestors tasted, like fucking dies on the spot. And then we worship Campbell's. Greetings. I raided for your craftspeople to arrive several sleeps ago, but they never landed. When can I expect you? We're patching things up as best we can, but the wind is carrying away everything in its path, and the roof won't hold out much longer. The situation is getting urgent. Oh, I hope this reply doesn't reach you too late. The relays have been malfunctioning recently. I apologize, but due to the storm, we are no longer available or no longer able to travel to your altitude. The danger is too great. My only advice is to take shelter. An emergency shelter is being set up for your heights drillers. May rain fall on you and your loved ones. You have my full support. I think that was a different person talking there. <laughs> Is oh, is it just like the lone little safe house, I'm guessing? Crazy how there seems to be a fire still going on in there? I mean, it seems like a clayish sort of exterior. So I can imagine, like, I guess the outside would be okay from the fire, but everything inside, probably not there anymore. I'm, I'm guessing to say it's probably been eviscerated. The kingdom come. Oh, little guy. 
I love the little guys in this game, but I also hate that, like, you can never interact with any of them. You can only, like, scare them away. Makes me, it makes me feel like an asshole. Oh, get it? Maybe we've been at a standstill for too long. Huh. Hmm. Well, not just because of the storm, but maybe the culture came to a standstill. Maybe the minds of the people and progression came to a standstill. Hmm. Deep game. You might not think it's a deep game because you're climbing up, but it's a deep game. I like other games like, oh, you read or no? Time to auto save. <laughs> yeah, very important time to do that game. Thanks. Oh, uh, you, you you looked out at the fucking scenery? Time to auto save. <laughs> Took a screen capture for you. Might want to remember this. What the fuck is that scuttling noise? I don't like it. I'm liking this interior though. What the? Uh, hello? Oh, that must have been the big creature that I saw at the end of the, like the last chapter. Probably the big papa of our little dude right here. Big papa, big mama, whatever. I'm loving the murals in this game. They're so good. Wait. Oh my god, are we gonna have to do a water level? Oh sweet Jesus, no. I'm okay with a strenuous, arduous, like, wall climbing. But water levels? No. Get it out of here. Don't nod. More like don't swim. Jeez. Get that shit out of here. All right, let's move on. I also like that there's a little, another little mur mural like right on like the side of the wall there, right by the entrance. I get it. Okay, you're impatient. You're lonely. You haven't had guests in like a century. Remember to keep on resting. Like, even the restful, like, periods where the wind isn't active are still, like, terrible. I just wasted stamina there. <laughs> I, can, yeah, I think I'm protected, actually, by the wind for now. No matter what, so. Okay, whatever. All right, go. There we go. Oh, gee. We're fine, chat. This is gonna be one of the lowest times for my stamina, but we made it. Trust in the heart of the rocks. And ABR, man, ABR. Always be rested. Don't get too ahead of yourself. You might get into like a flow state, but you definitely don't. You ain't that guy. You ain't one of them guys you hear about where like a free climber, it's just like, you're not even human. <laughs> like you're not, like Forrest Gump would look at you and be like, that's a little unnecessary, bro. That's a little bit extra. <laughs> what the hell? Hey buddy, I like your house. Pretty nice abode you got here. Honey. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. what do I, like, climb onto here? 
So this is the living room. I actually do like this abode. Like, the roots are awesome. Like, I feel like it's a, a pain in the ass to just walk around it in general. And you're like, at the end of the day, probably sore as fuck. And you have to, like, walk along these roots. And you're like, in the, like, the middle of the night, you, like, go out to take a piss and you hit a root. Oh, my God. But, you know, it's still pretty aesthetic. Becca was right. The water creatures were incredible. Huge. So, Belasteril, after all. It was their song I'd hear sometimes, between gust of wind, or maybe summoning the wind. We only just caught a glimpse of them, but once we did, nothing else mattered. And nothing else mattered. Yeah, we climbed a long way, just to say a malice today. I actually don't know the song. <laughs> Everyone went quiet. Watching them slowly disappear into the storm. For a long time, no one moved a muscle. Arlo shook his head, staring into space. For a moment, he looked like he'd lost his bearings, same as the rest of us. After the astonishment came the feverish preparations. Around me, the rope team got moving, sharpening their weapons and scanning the clouds. We needed to capture at least one of those flying water tanks. Even Sol ended up grabbing a harpoon. What other hope do we have of bringing the water back? He sounded almost apologetic, but I'm the one who's sorry. Wow, that's crazy. Fucking sky harpooning. Um up here I see wait I didn't travel that far back did I no I don't see a windmill so I think we're all good Ooh. I hate that there's just a straight downward wind like I know like shit fuck it there's gonna be an inverse to like the upward one but yeah Still, kind of cheeky. Pretty much the equivalent of like a mulligan. And jump! Okay. Now that I know the echo is definitely not in range, I gotta definitely do it while I'm in jump. What the? Oh. What was going on there? Why was I not jumping? Okay, gotta wait and do it again. Boom. Good. Stamina is pretty low, chat. Okay. It's not it's not that hard. There's one right there. It's right there, buddy. It's right on the other side. It's right you're almost there. <laughs> Your hands is it's right fucking there. Okay, cool. Sorry, my my voice is getting a little raised there, but it was there's only so much patience, man. Uh, 
stamina is getting pretty low, Chad. It's gonna like intentionally like bring the stamina down low for each section, I'm imagining. <laughs> and I did fuck up a little bit, so I'll be like, I'll be fully like aware of that. I did fumble right at the beginning. Make as much movement as you can. While you can. Oh, breathe. Make sure I don't needlessly like lose stamina there. Come on. Is it what was going on there? It's like forcing me to do pretty deliberate movement movements but also the panned out camera is not helping me in that department and like the upward angle the slight upward angle is <laughs> definitely not helping there i hear you okay i fucking got the milk and cigarettes i finally got it okay i told you i was gonna go out and get it real quick yet yeah, 12 years might not be real quick but i finally got it <laughs> Also, I, I got a new son. Not yours. Full disclosure. Oh, God, fuck. Oh, look at that. Wait, real quick. Damn, this definitely looks fucked up. This is definitely looking ruinous. Or? Ooh, Stone Tower. I'm guessing this was set up as, like, marker points for the, uh... Uh, expedition team. Look at my crack, chat. You see my wide crack. My craginess. Crack. Huh. Alright, we're definitely summoning Big Daddy over here. Come on out. Ain't no way that was the whole of chapter 5, though. That would be an insanely short chapter for what I thought it would be. Kind of damn windmills got Swiss cheese holes in them. Bro, you might need a contact lens. Holy shit! You, you got something on, on the top of your head. Oh my god, they actually are just sky whales. Oh, it sounds so cute! Look, I ain't one to complain, but you think you could have got like a tiny bit closer? <laughs> Just a, a, a foot or two. Hang on, chat. 
gonna be pretty bumpy and windy. Wait, is this gonna be the equivalent of a boss fight? Oh, this is fucking dope. So this, that wasn't the end of the fifth chapter. Oh, this whole entire ride is gonna be like, I guess the remainder of it. That's fucking dope. Hello? Oh, cool. I like this. And the music definitely ramped up. It's the most like, substantially like composed like track in this whole entire game so far. What is going on here? Definitely got the most, I guess, drive to it. Structure, motion. Good. I love the music in this game. Definitely got that like more leaning towards like ambient, down tempo ish, like Japanese breakfast sable type of music. That wasn't too bad. So not only did they not park as close as they safely could, but I also had to still climb a little bit, get to a safe spot. Oh. Check out that view. like the monolith from 2001 wow that's a pretty fucking good shot there We're going in for a crash landing Jesus think you could have had a little bit softer do you do this every time <laughs> Sees the peak of the mountain once, fucking dies. <laughs> Did our little dude go into like cold blooded, cold weather induced like hibernation? I guess that wouldn't make sense. Is this even an entirely different creature from our dude? Oh my god. I'm loving that. Like, an inkwell. A near abyss of, like, experience, man. Like, that was an insane graphic for the eyes, especially considering we have, like, little tiny, like, candy dots for eyes. Chapter 6. Ziz, ziz, ziz. I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm gonna just give myself an aneurysm trying to say that. I will sound like I'm, like... Twitching out, man. I was like, zzz, zzz, zzz. like a fucking full-on like Stepford Wives situation. This is very good. Okay, first off, that cinematic, that whole entire like cutscene, beautiful. That was one of the best like, uh, just cutscenes I've seen in a long time from a any game, let alone a non triple A. With a gorillion dollars to make cutscenes look as fantastic as possible. Can I jump from here? Or can I just go around safely? That'd probably be the better option with that little dude here. Whoa! Had a little hop there. But this whole scene too is awesome. Like this pan out to like the other sides of like the crater and whatnot is awesome. The giant tower? I thought that was going to be a little bit smaller, but seeing it from this angle, 
Holy shit. Yeah, they came up here to harpoon some, like, sky whales. And they ended up finding the fucking... Like, either the monolith from 2001. Like, the daddy of that monolith. Because that monolith was pretty small. Or, like, some sort of interstellar, like, waypoint. Also, I'm seeing etchings of the sky whales. Oh, am I going to have to climb to the very top of this, too? That's pretty cool. That's going to be this chapter. Okay, well, I'm s sorry that I took so long to, like, get on the stream and then talked for a while and then ended up having, like, only about an hour or so of, like, gameplay left. But hey, you know. You know. <laughs> oh, shit. They're actually constellations. The, the wall points are going to be constellations. Pretty, pretty great. I wonder what happens if I drop like a penny from the top, though. That kills someone. This inside structure is giving me Death Stranding vibes. How the hell am I going to climb with this dude in my hands? I can't even jump. But what the? What do I do? Okay, that's crazy. Then I can still do the echo. And that he's, he like does like a little like. Aah. Is that a corpse over there wow uh dead oh my god we bring them closer to warm them up oh um, but for real though, like, what, what are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do this whole climbing thing that I've been doing for like the whole game. I did it again. <laughs> this would be a lot easier if we had the ability to fucking jump, at least. Do a, a something of that manner. Oh. Man, this ain't your average game where it's gonna hold your hand and be like, come to this spot to drop up water, baby. But like, what the fuck? I'm gonna make this game two hours just like bumble fucking around outside. Why is it so easy for you to get stuck? Huh? I just had to hit a certain spot. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. Am I gonna have to activate every single one of them? 
every single one of them. There's a lot. There are, in fact, a lot. Oh no, you know what? There seems to be certain ones without, like, nodes that I can cl actually climb onto. So. Uh. Okay, what did I expect there? Mm, wind gust, chop chop. No way it wants I guess I can just grab onto this. Right? No. Oh! They definitely ain't got the ring. What was I thinking? Ah. Hey, that wasn't even that much of a fall. Get out of here. Ah. Um, hello? Why can I not jump that far? Ah. What is going on here? I really don't know what to tell you. But it's not let it's not letting me grab on anything. My jump reach isn't far enough. There doesn't seem to be any indicative like gust of wind that will help me. The tower does have some weird like effect going on every now and again. What is going on here? I feel like it's going to be insanely easy once I find out this one little hurdle. Ah. Ah. 
That would have been it right there, man. I, I don't know. It's going to be one of the fastest times I ever break in a game, but I can't tolerate just mindless shit. Like, if I'm just walking against the wall without any actual, like, construent thought on how to get forward, I'll fucking ask for help. I don't give a fuck. No, I'm definitely right. So I don't I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why my character is unable to do this specific jump. They should be from all indications. But they're not! Uh, ah! Get out of the corner! Oh shit, it actually did do something. That's pretty cool. Didn't help me at all, but it's still pretty cool. Is there some like big ass like super jump that I have like no idea? <laughs> Shinji. <laughs> I don't want this to be a game breaker chat, but this is wearing me down in like very quick. Neck should be snapped multitudes of times over. And there's a giant, like, water world just, like, peering over me. I don't wonder wh where all that water came from.
Why am I not able to jump over that shit? One arm on her. Oh! I need video evidence of this shit because this is driving me bonkers. Jackson. Shut up, Disney Plus. You know what I think it is? I think I forgot that I can do a double jump on the itself. Like once I do an initial jump, I can do uh, like a little bit of a hop, a little bit of a volley. So let's go ahead and try that out. I actually like did not see them do it on the video, but it, like they did do a wall thing. So I was like, oh fuck, it's that. <laughs> My stamina is going to hate me. There we freaking go! Oh! Vindicated. I'm a genius. Um, where are these resting points? What the fuck? That was the darn shittiest jump I ever f darn seen in my life. You all be ashamed of yourself. I guess this is our life now. I see it. It's gonna be those uh, little like carvings. I just gotta get to like the very edges of like the stamina. Oh my god. Oh, oh I'm sore. I'm sore than any person ever could be sore. I guess. Go out from this side now. Do a little hook. I love how we have to be like the most insanely physical, like muscly person, but we still gotta do like a little bit of a. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. There's gonna be some over here too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to probably uh, strategize and, like, break up 
uh, brightening up these structures into segments from like right side to left side. I probably could have had enough like distance there to actually get it without the double like hit. But you know, better to be safe. When you're at the peak of a mountain already, when you made it this far, might as well be a little bit safe. I wonder if I make it to the top, can I just like rappel downward? Oh, wait. Okay, I can't make it. Getting pretty bad. I can't make that though, right? I mean, I guess if I can make that one, I could probably make this one, but. Again, better to be safe than sorry. Oh. It's okay. We're safe. Shit. Come on, bro. It's right fucking there. <laughs> my stamina back and I right here probably yep boom all right we'll go down and get these other little uh, constellations there two to the left oh apparently I can't repel that far now. wait maybe what if I gotta be able to cheese this come on come on bro Messed up. I didn't think those were limited in range, though. Whee! Yeah, if we didn't, like, just have our neck broke already, this would have been, like, the moment. Oh, my God. Wow. Why did I save this? I should have gotten this out of the way first. Holy crap. I'm going to have to do that all over again. Oh, God. big brain moment. I just feel like it should be like the best move to just take a quick breather every time I do a successful like jump. bit more prepared for this go around so I had had been more stamina left over that's good again we are worshiping the spaghetti o ring monster not the spaghetti monster bear in mind not the flying spaghetti monster completely different deity ours is like the sort of like chthonic offspring uh, am I supposed to get those Please. Oh, fuck. I actually hit it, though. I Okay, so they both work. 
Oh, thank God I hit it for even a second. If I would have fallen all the way back down, I would have been a little bit peeved. This isn't nowhere near as much as like a tumultuous trek bath as that. But yeah, these uh, these little like wing nodes, these little like spaghetti ring nodes, they're holy visages of our god. And then there's like the sun god, like offspring of that god, who is like the Frank's red hot spaghetti o rings. There's the uh. You get your ring god of war, the meatball one. There is the god of the arts, the Franks one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why did I just like... <laughs> what kind of move was that? I just like blindly like moved forward. Like what? That's like a thousand ways to die. And the worst part is I would have like killed this little fucking guy. Um. Whee! That was pretty cool. Hey, okay, none to my right. Nodes to the left of me, but none to my right. Here I am, stuck in the peak with you. I can't believe this all like synced together once I remember that I could double jump. <laughs> and I'm like right there, damn. Actually didn't take as long as I thought it would be. Okay, okay. Don't get ahead of myself though. No, wait. Probably hit it from uh, this node. And hit that. Boom. Good distance there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stamina. It's just the thing is that there aren't any like checkpoints at all. Like you gotta be clear and concise with your movements. There's barely any room for mess ups. And jump. All right, cool. Very weird spot for this, but where would be a good spot? Oh my god, uh, woo. that was close. No double jump shenanigans there. All right, cool. That wasn't bad at all for this final little like lap. All right, chat. We're here. We're gonna separate from our little Brogu buddy, but we're gonna bring them to a more appropriate and better life. The life they're really accustomed to. For our own goods. Uh, wait. A cinematic didn't happen, chat. Okay. <laughs> now that's pretty cool. 
So, is this gonna be like an interstellar like gateway? Like what the? Is it gonna bring all the water splashing back down? Which seems like if it's right above me like this, it's just gonna like fucking. I mean, I guess it's above the whole world. <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen, but chat. But sit tight, cause it's gonna be pretty freaking cinematic and cool. Let's go. We gotta play Wake Me Up. He's he's sleepy. <laughs> blow blow it hard. That wasn't the right note. <laughs> yeah, no, a little higher, a little higher. That was that was H. That's A. I'm I'm looking more for a good like F. F7. Okay, they were actually hibernating. When I like did the echo earlier, I was kind of just like poking them like, Dad, wake up, wake up, it's Christmas, wake up. <laughs> Wow, that was a phenomenal ending there. That was Jusant from the Don't Nod Studio Paris team. Very good, comfy, vibe, intense, heavy uh, puzzle platformer. I'm going to bring up the game command one last time. Current game being, or was played, was Jusant from developer Don't Nod. Enjoy meditative vibes in Jusant, an action puzzle climbing game. Scale an immeasurably tall tower and ascend to new heights alongside your watery companion. Master your climbing tools, find your way up through diverse biomes, and piece together the tower's past. 
can find it on Steam, Epic Game Store, uh, Xbox. I'm not sure if they're if it's on consoles. Probably for $24.99 USD and uh, free on Game Pass. But yeah, I had a wonderful time. That was a really great ending, and I mean, even the ending of the ending right there, that final shot with like the like the side profile, the face as they were like just in like bliss of rain finally coming back which ended up being a development from uh, the wells reaching like the surface of I guess the water world that was above our world and that causes rain <laughs> I don't know that was a pretty good resolution in that I mean it was like it's wackadoodle and pretty surreal but really good at the same time very good um uh, message about I guess climate change I mean, I know that is a message for our world. I'm not sure if that's what exactly happened in their world. If it was like climate change induced or if it just happened, you know? <laughs> but still, very good message about that. Very good game in terms of like being a puzzle platformer. I loved every little like section of climbing. Hair raising and action-y without being <laughs> an action game at all really. And I love the echo mechanic. That was very good. That was a very good and unique mechanic that I haven't really... S that you do see. I mean, you see shades of that in a lot of puzzle games. It usually is a sort of, I guess, MacGuffin that works in that sense for a lot of, like, puzzle games. But I don't know if I've really seen it in this manner before. But no, I like it. I like it a lot. Wow, that's pretty bad that I only got, what, four murals? Damn. <laughs> I missed out, like, the fir like practically the first half of murals in this game. How, with all, like, the exploration you can do in this game and, like, how obvious a lot of, like, the offshoots from, like, the pathways there are for you to go into, like, settlements and whatnot, how did I miss these murals? Like, I mean, I know there are neon signs, other murals leading to the murals. It's not exactly holding your hand in that sense, but... Dang, I really... I don't know how I did it. But anyways, I really expected this game to last till around 12 o'clock or even later. So... It's a pretty awkward time for it to have ended. I don't want to just call it a night. And not just like, I don't know, do an awkward 30 minutes or so of a roguelike. But you know what, hey, ending it in such a short manner and the fact that I would have like a full like two weeks off if I decided to cut the stream off with just one measly little stream for this week, I'm kind of feeling like I'll just go ahead and do a stream for tomorrow night and Wednesday night. I might call off Thursday night though to, I guess, have a more chill night with my guest and whatnot and not just be like, all right guys, bye. <laughs> But who knows, you know, I might just do a full week. We'll see. We'll see. But I will definitely be adhering to, like, the uh, schedule that I had in mind for this week in general. And I, uh, that would be playing roguelikes for the rest of the week. For the final week of streaming for 2023. I'll definitely have just a chill, but still, uh, I guess, driven week for the stream. It won't be Monster Hunter Rise levels of comfy, but it will still be comfy. But I'll be returning and I guess trying to wrap up for like two or three roguelikes that I played this year. I'll try out. It's tough, man. It's tough. I guess if I had to like nudge out one out of like the three that I'm thinking of for my top three, it'd have to have been Hellboy, the most recent one as well. But thinking order of importance. 
I feel like I have to automatically give it to Risk of Rain Returns, but Mortal Sin, man, it really blew me out of the water. Everything about it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Who knows, might just take two weeks off. But, I'll see you all then. I, I don't know, I guess I feel like if I end it on a mysterious note, I have, I, I feel like I can't say maybe I'll see you tomorrow and then just be like, no, I'm not doing it. See you in two weeks. See you next year. <laughs> like that would be a little unceremonious. But I don't know. We'll see. So y'all have a good night and I'll see you next stream. Whether or not it's tomorrow night or December or shit, January 1st, 2024. See you next year, maybe. I love you all, though. It's been a great year of streaming, just as it always is. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I get a little sad. I wish I can just. It sounds weird to say I want more attention. I want more attention. I do. Fuck it. I want more attention. I want to make more people entertained and laugh. I want to bring joy to people's lives, even if it's through something as simple as just watching me play games and make witty little jokes here and there. I just I want to do something for that. Make music. I'm not going to lie, a little bit sad too. I've tossed and turned the idea of quitting streaming or pushing it back and focusing on something else in entertainment, like making music. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just like two birds, one stone. I'm always going to play games. Unless I can't. Unless something forces me to not play games in life. Or, you know, I don't know. I have... I don't have the means to play them, but I always be playing video games, so I just think, why not stream while I play games? And it honestly makes me play games for longer than I ever do when I'm not streaming, which is another point I brought up recently, so Uber is one stone. And if I just happen to become an entertainer for a mass of people, that's, that would be the best thing ever. So coming into next year, I hope the stream can move to greener planes. I want to bring joy and laughter to so many people. But hey, hope you all had a great time here, and I hope you have a great time here next year. And I'll see you all either tomorrow night or January 1st, 2024. Y'all have a good night. Love you all. Bye-bye.